Good morning, my name is Brett Evans. I'm here with the Nikola One, a hydrogen fuel cell class 8 semi truck. This truck was just revealed last night in its entirety. Um, we've seen teaser images, we've seen uh, renderings, we've, we've heard rumors about its specifications, and we finally got a good first hand look um, last night at about no about 7 p.m. in Salt Lake City. Um, this is the business end of the truck. Um, here we see um, independently controlled electric motors that power each of the four rear wheels. Sorry, I don't know. We learned some, some things about this truck today in an engineering meeting. Uh, for example, we learned that each of the four wheels will be independently suspended and that these massive air springs are actually located fairly close to the fifth wheel, uh, which will provide added load, uh, added load capacity and also better load control by removing stress from the, from the truck's frame um, and putting that on the suspension rather than on the frame itself. Again, each, four, each one of these wheels has uh, its own electric motor, which will uh, give the truck torque vectoring capability for better control in, in poor weather and in, um, on curvy roads. Um, should provide better, uh, better stability in those kinds of conditions. Mounted back here is the truck's... Um, some of the truck's uh, powertrain <laughs> control systems and its hydrogen tanks. As, uh, as we learned uh, a couple of months ago, this truck is a hydrogen-powered um, vehicle, um, hydrogen fuel cell. So that means the hydrogen, uh, hydrogen cells will generate electric power and send it to those electric motors. H2, they're very proud that it's a hydrogen fuel cell. Yeah, come over here. You actually, yeah, that's, you can come over here. So, yeah, let me get the headline in. There you go. All right. Thank you. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. I should charge. Oh, cool. Yeah. 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 One of the benefits to a hydrogen fuel cell power plant is that this is a zero emission vehicle. The only emission, um, the only emissions this vehicle will make are uh, water vapor um, from combining the hydrogen and the oxygen. So um, as this thing is driving down the road, the only thing it will be emitting is, um, is water, which obviously is a definite boon for um, for definite boon for the uh, environment and also for um, some of those environmental restrictions that um, this, this industry in particular has, has seen in the last few years. Um, another benefit to the hydrogen electric powertrain is instant torque. Um, you know, even with uh, as, as torque heavy as diesel engines are, nothing can really be a, um, an electric motor in terms of instant torque. So this vehicle will provide all 2,000 pound, foot-pounds of torque from zero RPM. Good for both throttle response and for, um, for powering up steep grades. With most of the fuel cells and the hydrogen control um, devices mounted behind the cab and down low in the frame, that opens up this massive space for 
the, of the cabin. As you can see, the cockpit is mounted extremely far forward, um, giving it a you know amazing forward visibility for sure. You know, there's no there's no doghouse to look over, and so you get great view of the road ahead. But in addition to that, you also get to the space. You know, with the cockpit mounted so far forward, all of this space behind the truck can be used as you know, for the sleeper. Um, we'll take a look inside the truck in a moment, um, and I can kind of show you around a little bit more, more of this truck. Um, you know, it's definitely, definitely a very futuristic design, very unconventional, um, and uh, very aerodynamic and sleek. Whether the market will be receptive to such a design remains to be seen, but we were talking to a few logistics experts who were in attendance at this launch. And they all seem excited about the prospect of zero. I think there's about two percent of the good torque and good power. It's really a, a pretty, pretty impressive concept. side access door. Um, you know, with most trucks, the door goes right to the driver's seat, and um, while that's not, not a bad design, it also kind of makes it a little bit more difficult to climb in. At the launch yesterday, the company's CEO said that a large number of um, workers' comp and workers' on-the-job injuries uh, for truck drivers happen when they're climbing into their trucks, and, you know, they either slip and fall on on some ice that's built up around the steps or they lose grip of the wheel or the handles and they have to, um, you know, they end up falling off the back of the truck. And uh, this side access door with these big beefy steps mounted here will ease that. It's a seven foot tall door so you don't need to bend, bend down to climb in the side of your truck. Uh, these stairs do not, Renee. Uh, these stairs, they set these up to make life easier for us. These are the stairs that come standard. See, so it's still a bit of a climb, but it's much safer and much more secure than, than the current, some of the current solutions on the market. So Rob, I am waiting in line right now. We're gonna take a step inside just as soon as we can. truck is made from carbon fiber. Those mirrors, the mirror, uh, the mirror arms are made from carbon fiber. And, uh, much of the truck is made from advanced materials, which um, help it help it reduce weight, improve efficiency, and, uh, and and so on. It's a little bit difficult to um, evaluate since this is a hydrogen-fired truck, and many of the trucks on the market today are diesel-fired, but. Um, using a pretty complex formula they showed yesterday. Um, um, Nikola claims that this truck is twice as efficient as a traditional diesel semi. That's a fair statement, Justin. Very fair. James, I'm waiting in line right now. I'm going to jump in just as soon as I can. I saw it last night. It's, it's uh, pretty cool. A lot of 
people excited about this track? The uh, side profile oh, really? really reminds us of something like the space shuttle. It's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting design. Yeah, just that, that extreme cap forward design makes makes for really good visibility. Uh, Josh, uh, thank you uh, thank you for asking. Driving range on this truck is projected to be between 800 and 1200 miles. Um, currently, the company has plans to build more than 350 hydrogen refueling stations nationwide. Um, we were exploring the map a little bit yesterday, and the just a moment, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, we were playing with the tool yesterday, and it looks like the the biggest distance between fueling stations goes between um, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and Winnipeg, Canada, and that distance is about 800 miles. It's uh, right at the lower lower end of the driving range for the truck, so you should be able to get just about anywhere. Uh, Within um, the United States and the the southern um, southern part of Canada, um, using the 800 to 1200 mile range of this truck. I'm gonna step inside right now. So with this uh, with this design, you've got two double beds. Um, they didn't. Uh, they haven't finalized the interior design. Um, but this current design has a pretty cool fridge and a microwave and then as you can see just this big panoram panoramic sunroof which really opens up the space inside. It's also a nice uh, nice panoramic sunroof just over the cabin. So you step into the truck and uh, you're kind of in the living space and then you step up into the cockpit which is closed off for safety. And this is the cockpit. There's a, um, currently there's uh, this screen, they're projecting that they'll be able to put a 21 inch touch screen in, um, which will uh, be pretty cool. That system right there displays uh, Nikola shipments, which is kind of like Uber for uh, truckers and for, sh for shipping, for logistics. Um, a driver can select his, um, origin and destination and shipments will provide uh, several different options for him depending on what kind of load he wants to carry and, and things like that um, and as you can see just this great amazing panoramic front view without that that doghouse up front to block away uh, Wyatt this is a hydrogen fuel cell powered truck so it has a uh, I believe it's a 320 kilowatt battery system driving these, um, these individual electric motors mounted in each wheel. Um, and uh, yeah, it's got a range of about 800 to 1200 miles, depending on driving conditions. Uh, one more thing I, I forgot to mention was it is six wheel drive. This particular vehicle has an electric motor on the front axle as well, um, on each individual front wheel. Um, he, uh, the, the CEO of the company mentioned that that six-wheel drive would be good for severe duty, um, severe duty applications, but for most other drivers, uh, the four rear wheels are driven, and that should be good enough for most other drivers. Um, Jesse, I will have to double check, but I'm fairly certain the maximum payload is 60,000 pounds, I think is what we heard yesterday, but I will double check and let you know. Doing some pretty fun. This is a better image right here on the side of the truck. Come on over here, guys. You're good. Come on over. Hold it. Who's he calling? You can stand back there further and get the whole truck in. I want Nico. You want to room this one? Everyone wants a Nicola. Well, you got the Nicola. Okay, that's fine. Here, you can take you where you want, okay? Come on over. You want the Nicola? So let's move over to it. The front profile of the truck is, is really better? cool. Those C-shaped light signatures were um, 
chosen so that you could identify the truck as a Nikola from half a mile away. Really, really distinctive, sleek looking truck. The gentleman right there is the company's CEO. Thanks for coming, okay? Victor, we are in Salt Lake City. Nikola is a Salt Lake City based company uh, in Utah. Um, we are just about 15 minute, minutes east of downtown Salt Lake. Okay. Perfect. You guys have any uh, any other questions about the truck that I can maybe answer? This uh, this futuristic livery looks like it belongs on a uh, like a spacecraft from. Futurama or something like that. I love it. If you guys have any other questions, you can uh, you can hopefully answer some of them in the Truck Trend article linked uh, on this on this video right here in the video description. You can also check out the Nikola. Um, Nikola website. They've got a lot of information there. Um, of note, we learned some we learned some cool stuff about Nikola's future plans last night, including the Nikola Two, which is a um, a day cab style um, big rig. Um, it's going to have similar propulsion and similar um, uh, similar specifications, just in a day cab, a cheaper day cab style for for drivers, where that's that's more uh, more feasible for them. Um, additionally, we learned a little bit about Nikola Shipments, which, as I said yesterday, or I said a few minutes ago, was a, um, a kind of like an Uber for logistics, where drivers could say where they were and where they were going, and they would be able to um, they would be able to uh, uh, sorry, uh, Nikola Shipments would be able to provide them with a few different routes that they could take. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, Victor, they are projecting that these will be on the road by 2020. 20,000. 2020. 2020. Thanks, I appreciate you coming, okay? Nikola is also yeah. famous for this machine. This is the Nikola Zero. It's a 500 horsepower all electric UTV. This thing is pretty, pretty unreal. Can't wait to get behind the wheel of one of those. But yeah, for now, this is. This is the Nikola one. Um, again, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment on this video. I will do my best to answer them. Um, pretty, pretty sweet machine, and we really, really hope that the company is able to live up to its promises regarding range and, uh, and infrastructure because it's pretty cool. Um, it's going to lease for about five thousand to seven thousand dollars a month, and that will include a seven-year, one million mile warranty and one million miles of free hydrogen, one million miles worth of free hydrogen, so it's, it's a pretty aggressive pricing and, and it could be a good value for a lot of, um, a lot of truck drivers. Thank you again for tuning in. My name is Brett Evans. If you have any questions, oh, Mark, great question. Uh, they're projecting it's going to have about 1,000 horsepower and 2,000 pound-feet of torque. Um, this is a fully functional prototype. Um, it runs under its own power and everything like that, and they're just kind of going to be doing some final calibrations to make sure it's going to going to do as well on the roads as it does on the show stand because it is a pretty cool truck. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, I'll be around and uh, I'll be answering your questions in the comments.